Questions 81 to 84. It's about Henry's law. And so they describe the law, give us some values, and, um, and talk about... Okay, so all the dissolved air is extracted from one liter of plasma. And they tell us how much nitrogen and oxygen is in that plasma. And um, there is indeed more nitrogen. And so they ask that there is more nitrogen than oxygen in the extracted air. Why is what they're asking. Well, let's take a look at their equation that they gave. Um, and we'll just rearrange it a little bit. We'll make the, uh, the concentration of X is equal to the uh, partial pressure here um, over KH. And let's, look, let's t talk about that again. So uh, this is the partial pressure of X that's in contact with the liquid. So this is the partial pressure of the gas in the atmosphere. And this is the concentration in the liquid. And, uh, and when you look at those KH values, you can see that nitrogen is uh, really, really high. Oxygen is uh, relatively low. Okay, so um, it says there is more nitrogen than oxygen in the air because the KH value of nitrogen is greater than the KH value of oxygen. But uh, notice that if your KH value goes up, the concentration should go down. Right? So KH, the higher and higher this goes, is the more the concentration will go down. So the relationship that A is providing doesn't seem uh, logical. In fact, I think we're getting a sense of what this KH is telling us, is that the KH is telling us about solubility in the liquid. And the higher the KH, is the less concentration you end up having in the liquid. So that means higher KH actually means that it's less soluble. So this is something that, you know, an understanding that evolves as you're uh, starting to work with the equation. So B, nitrogen molecules bond more strongly uh, to water than do oxygen molecules. But, but no, we, we just saw that the KH is higher, which makes it less concentration in the fluid, so it's less soluble. So B is also incorrect. Both uh, C, both nitrogen and oxygen are swamped by the greater solubility of carbon dioxide. Well, uh, there's no evidence of that. There's no information um, about that, and, and it doesn't seem to be important because uh, CO2 wasn't mentioned. And D, the higher partial pressure of nitrogen in air ensures that its concentration plasma will exceed oxygen. So the higher partial pressure is what's leading to the concentration, not the KH, because you would want a very low KH in order to have a higher concentration, or the other option is a very high partial pressure. And in the back of our minds, um, you know, you know, you may have read, uh, it's in Chem 1.1, but uh, you may have read from whatever sources that uh, nitrogen uh, in air is about 78%, oxygen is about 21% in air, and then there's a mix of other gases, which is, which is really only 1% uh, in air, all the other uh, gases. So nitrogen is, you know, massive uh, partial pressure uh, compared to uh, oxygen. 82, the partial pressure of argon in the atmosphere at 25 is 0.09, which of the following is the best estimate of the equilibrium concentration of argon in blood plasma? So if we want the concentration of argon, we just have to uh, give the, um, uh, the pressure, the partial pressure, which is 0 0.099. So that's, um, so that's 93, okay? That's 93 times 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Times uh, 10 to the minus 4. Okay, you know, you just get into the habit uh, of playing with exponents. Uh, you count the number uh, that you move it. And I'm moving it because I want this number to be a little bit higher than the uh, denominator so I can do um, a faster uh, calculation. And then um, I'm looking for the KH for argon. Okay, and uh, the KH for argon is 732, so I will write that as 7.32 uh, times 10 
to the power of 2. And so now I can just look at this and I can say that uh, this is a multiple, how many times does 7 fit into 93? It almost fits in there, um, um, well, it almost fits in there uh, 14 times. Uh, no, not enough, 13. So 13 times. So I'm going to just write uh, 13. And then this is going to be minus to bring it up here. So minus uh, 10 to the minus 6. And so I uh, check my answer choices. And indeed, um, we have 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5. So in case you forgot, um, if you remove uh, a decimal point, you remove a decimal point, you add a number up here. So we get to 5. And if you add a decimal point, then you uh, remove a number up there, which means make it more negative. Okay, so 83, air contains nitrogen and oxygen of 4 to 1 ratio approximately. I mean, that, that ruins my assumed knowledge of 78% and 21% because uh, they're, they're giving you the information anyway. <laughs> so, hey sir! Anyway, which, which of the following is the best estimate? of the uh, ratio of the concentration of nitrogen to oxygen in blood plasma? Well, well, <laughs> um, yeah, that's a little bit easy. So um, I think that uh, they, they give you this information in, in question 81. In question 81, they have a sample of blood plasma equilibrated with air, and the extracted air had uh, 12.3 uh, mils of uh, nitrogen and it had um, 6.3 of oxygen okay so that is um, a ratio of uh, 2 to 1 uh, that's not uh, that's pretty rare to have a question like that I mean if you if you wanted to uh, do it another way or if you found yourself doing it another way uh, you can you can also look at the fact that uh, KH the KH value of uh, nitrogen is 1500, uh, which is twice that of oxygen, which is 780. So, uh, so the KH value of nitrogen is twice as high, uh, which means it's half as soluble, right? Because if, if this gets higher, it makes it less uh, soluble. So it's twice as high so it's half as soluble as, as water. So even though there is a 4 to 1 in air, that means because it's half as soluble, it would be 2 to 1. But obviously, this is the smart way to do it in an exam so that you can carry on and work on other things. 84. Deep sea divers use a mixture of helium and oxygen um, because it's much solvent in blood. Blah, 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 deep dissolved in helium. Which of the following is the best estimate of the percentages of the gases in the mixture? So to find a percentage, you take the concentration of one part of it and you divide it by the amount of all of it, um, both components. So let's, let's do oxygen, for example. So we know that oxygen, we have a, a concentration in blood plasma, um, plasma for oxygen of 780 okay and uh, so now we have to um, to find the fraction of what this is we we have to take the total amount which is 780 plus that for helium and this information is also given which is 2800 so this is uh, at the top of the uh, of the page they give this information so this is the fraction that we're looking for, and this will give us um, uh, the percentage uh, for oxygen. So this is um, equal to uh, 780 over, so that's uh, 3580. Okay, so that's about, uh, this is about 80. And um, I'm just removing uh, one of the zeros. And, uh, and then, no, I better not. So this is uh, 800, and that's about 3,600. Now um, we can do a little, so 8, three, okay, 1, 2, 1, 2. Uh, that's 4 over 18. That's 2 over 9. So that's equal to 2 
over 9. And as a percentage, so this approximates um, 20 percent. And there's nothing even even close, so we don't have to do precise, any more precise calculation. So we have 20% oxygen, and that means necessarily it's 80% helium. So 84, the answer is D.